This week, our expert is Mogure Iduku, an enterprise development advisor. Karibu sana. Thank you, Catherine. I'm glad to be back. Mogure, speaking to Modoni yes. um, earlier, one of the things she says is it's important for entrepreneurs to just start. Isn't there a danger in that, that kind of advice? On the one hand, it's good advice when you say, if you have business idea, don't sit with it, start. Because I think Modoni was coming from the point of view that it's only action that makes a difference. If you have an idea and you don't take any action to actualize your idea, then it will forever remain just a thought in the back of your mind. However, I would say start, but with a caveat. Because it's not enough to have a business idea. Business ideas, Catherine, are many and varied. And even people who are employed have tons of business ideas running around in their head. I would go a step further and say, yes, start. But as you're starting or before you start, you've got to be very clear about what happens in the particular industry in which you're intending to operate. So, for example, something as basic as market research, where you get to find out who are the other players in the industry. There is no idea that you're having for the first time. Somebody else has had that idea before. So never believe your unique, your no. idea is unique, it's no, different. No, you can differentiate. And it's one of the things when we are advising entrepreneurs, it's one of the things that we ask them to ensure they know what about you is different from the other players in the market. But the fact is that there's no business idea that nobody has ever had before. So it's very important to know who are the other players in the market. What is regulating that industry? What's happening in the industry? Because when you hear that businesses start and 50%, possibly more than 50% die within two years, what do you think contributes to that? It's because One, of the idea of just starting precisely, without knowing. I have a good idea. Um, I speak to my friends. I speak to my relatives they buy into the idea and I think you know I'm going to be making money I'll be laughing all the way to the bank that's not necessarily true so it's very important to do a little bit of research market research know what's happening in the industry find out what is required of you in order to actualize this business and then the other thing becomes what I've always been talking about having systems and processes in your business. Then sometimes this, the system and processes, you, you develop them as you... It may not necessarily be at the beginning, but it is something that you've got to be thinking about even as you're starting your business. Because you don't want to get into the point where tons of entrepreneurs are, which is that they're self-employed. Eh? Self-employed means I'm working and I'm working as hard as I worked for my employer, possibly even harder, but I'm working for myself. And if I'm not working, I am not making any money. So you're self-employed, but are you really an entrepreneur? Is there a business that has a life that you've breathed into? So the business is running because you have a system, because you have a process, because the people in the business know what's supposed to happen, whether or not you're physically present in the business. So initially you will be by yourself, you will possibly have one assistant, and you will be doing a lot of the work. But thinking through what are the systems and the processes that you're going to document, that you're going to formalize in your business. The other thing that you now also need to start becoming clear about is your business model. Having a business idea is one thing. Having the business idea turn into revenue, into money in your pocket, is a completely different thing. Thank you so much, Mugure, really, for that information. I'm sure Modoni will take that, and anybody else who's in business, if, if they really need to grow, you know, as part of a process, um, that advice is good. Thank you. Asante. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. And remember, Action is a foundational key to all success. Do have a blessed week.